Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on our ISTQB AI tester certification. We are in chapter one and we have completed all the topics and it's time to look forward to have some quick sample questions to get some more insights about what kind of questions can be asked in the real examinations. To get started, the very first question we have here is, which of the following statements provides the best example of the AI effect? I think it's time when you should look back, look back to the definitions of AI effect and uh, these are some of the very straightforward things which we must be able to reply immediately. And uh, this is to the point, so there's nothing wrong about, you know, thinking about a trick or kind of deviations. It's just that AI effect is all about what exactly is happening based on a period of time that what transformation AI is making over a period of time is what it relates to. But let's have a look on the options here. It says people lose their job as AI based systems perform their rules cheaper and better. Now, of course, <laughs> that's the most funny thing what you can really have. Now, people in many occupation may lose their jobs to AI based systems, but this is simply the progress of the industry and the technology, but not the AI effect right? B, competitive computer games lose popularity as AI-based system always wins. Now, that's something totally different again. Now, for some computer games, uh, AI-based systems can outplay humans, but there is a little evidence of a drop-off in the popularity of such games because people still look forward to find it as challenging and they look forward to compete with the machines as much as possible. So B is also ruled out. And looking forward to the next option, which is C, rule-based expert systems for medical diagnosis are no longer considered to be an AI. Now, which means, of course, the AI effect is basically the def definition of the change in the AI as technology advances. Now, rule-based systems of medical diagnosis were popular uh, examples of AI in early 70s and 80s but are often not considered as AI today at all. So yes, there's something which over a period of time gets outdated and uh, a new definition is given to uh, AI and that's what you refer to as AI effect. So it seems like C is the uh, relevant option, but let's cross check with D as well. People believe AI will take over the world as shown in the films. <laughs> the uh, it's, it's all about the cinemas, uh, which goes, uh, you know, believing on what exactly could be a possibility believing that a killer robot will take over the world is not exactly what you call it as AI effect. As we got the definition and got the justification discussed here that it's more about the transformation at the AI level which happens over a period of time is what you call it as AI effect, right? So in this case, the right answer here is C, that is rule-based system, uh, expert systems for medical diagnosis are no longer considered to be an AI now. All right, looking on to the next question, which is question number two, which of the following option is not a technology used to implement AI? I think I, again, would like to quickly remind all of you that the word not is used very smartly. <clears throat> if you don't pay attention, you may skip this word and feel like you know there are more than one right answers. So you don't really want to get confused with such kind of things and we wanna make sure that we read each and every word very clearly. And this is very, very straightforward uh, question that uh, we had the list of all the technologies under AI and we just wanna take that into consideration and talk about it. So we have four options again here. A supports vector machine, uh, design decision tree, evolutionary reasoning, and basin optimization. Of course, support vector machine is uh, one of the contributor. Support vector machines are a form of machine learning. And when it comes to design decision trees, they are a form of machine learning as well. But when it comes to evolutionary learning, <clears throat> okay, uh, there is no such AI technology as evolutionary reasoning. Such a term is basically used in discussing related to biological evolution uh, based rules where considered AI uh, of kind of like a long time ago. But uh, that's not something as a technology very straightforward. But basin optimization is of course uh, one of the machine learning form again. So straightforward, the right answer here is C, evolutionary reasoning is not a technology used to implement AI. Moving on to the next question, this says which of the following statement about the hardware used to implement AI-based system is most likely to be correct? 
Now, of course, uh, hardwares are being discussed here. So we got the very first option as the processors used to train a mobile recommendation system must be same as the processor on the mobile phone. I think that's something really contradicting, right? You know, mobile hardwares are completely different than compared to the AI uh, based systems which are recommending about the mobiles to be used. So of course, these are two different things. One is AI based system and one is the cell phone which you're buying through this AI based system where AI based system is trying to recommend you a device that which will be best suited for you. So point is, no, that's not something which we can refer to say that uh, what exactly is the uh, hardware for AI based system related to the cell phone. So the two activities uh, kind of like training ML model and interface from the model are quite different. So there is a normally uh, no reason that they should be performed with the same set of process and mobile is completely different from an AI based system. So that certainly doesn't make any sense. Talking about B, graphical processing units, which are GPUs, which are a reasonable choice to Im implement an AI computer-based uh, computer vision system. So, of course, GPUs are one of the great contributors, and they are designed for the uh, parallel processing of images using thousands of cores, uh, which is close to what is required for an AI-based computer vision system. And this would uh, be most likely be implemented as a nat neural network, so... That's, the I think, the best answer right now. But let's cross-check with CND. C says deep learning systems need to be trained, evaluated, and testing using AI-specific chips. Now, of course, I think we're talking about chips here. It is really possible to train, evaluate, and test a simple deep learning system on a PC with limited GPU support. So specific chips for AI are not at all needed. and uh, But they would be really far faster when required or to be used. But as of now, whatever we have understood, it's not something which is really mandatory or necessary in terms of uh, being, you know, the AI-based system hardware to be considered. So that doesn't really uh, get closer to what exactly B is talking about. So don't forget the question is telling you which is most likely to be correct. So there could be partial responses. There could be you know, some options which might look relevant, but there would be one best answer and you need to pick that. So currently B is still looking stronger compared to C. And uh, let's go with the D and check out that, what exactly it says. D says, it is always best to choose processor with more bits to achieve sufficient accuracy for AI-based system. Now, of course, many AI-based systems are not focused on exact calculations, but rather on probabilistic determinations and so the accuracy of processor with many dips, many bits is often unnecessary. Because here, we're not talking about <clears throat> exact calculations, rather. We're talking about predictions. We're talking about being result-oriented and making accurate outcomes. So in that context, I think this is, again, not something which is really recommended as a hardware to be used. Again, as per the syllabus, what we have covered, uh, this does not sound as the most recommended hardware for AI-based system. So put together, the right answer here is B, graphical processing units, which are GPUs, uh, which are as reasonable choice to implement an AI-based computer vision system. So put together, this is what are the sample questions, what we wanted to cover and talk about. And I think that makes it very, very clear that what exactly the sample questions from the chapter one can be. And we'll be looking forward to get started with chapter two, to talk about the remaining concepts of this particular certification. There's a long way to go, so stay tuned for that. That's all from this particular video team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.